MongoDB stands for Model Context Protocol. And the keyword to focus here is the last word, which is protocol. In other words, while you might look at the integration portion and say, hey, that's an application, or hey, that's written in code. While that certainly is true, you might be missing an important point. It's really the protocol side of MCP that makes it such a unique and ubiquitous tool. So in order to use the LLM to connect to other applications, one of the first things you will run into is the medium in which you communicate. In other words, let's say you want to have your LLM talk to your human resources application so that you can ask the LLM the following question. Can you help me request time off for next Friday? Now, now, the LLM has no clue how to communicate with their human resources application. Actually, what's worse is that LLM doesn't even know that there is such a thing as human resources application. So you'll have to somehow write up a whole prompt before writing your original prompt with something like this. You have access to use our human resources application, which is hosted on our private server on port 6000 with the IP of 192.168.0.12. If my request happens to be about a human resources applications, you should try to use the human resources applications before answering back. And once this draft is in your prompt, you can then append it to the subsequent request from the earlier that says, can you request a time off for next Friday? As you can see, this is starting to become a lot of work to describe and maintain. And here's where it gets worse. Even though now the LLM knows that it has access to human resources applications, it still doesn't know how to engage with the system. And the burden is put on you to once again, to describe what API endpoints are available. And not only that, you will have to describe how to actually make the call and what type of data to expect from the human resources applications. So your job now balloons to something even more where your prompt is starting to become this massive write-up of how to actually communicate with this human resources application. And there's more. You also have to then work on the actual part where you actually make the call and exchange information between the systems. What I mean by that is that in your description, it outlines the LLM on how to actually make the API calls to the HR application to make the time off request. So the LLM might respond back to your request with the following string. And since these are just string, you have to actually take them and physically make the call to the API endpoint and facilitate the entire operation from what the LLM requested and what the API actually returned. And now you're starting to have the nightmare with the n times n problem from earlier, where repeating this type of setup for every agent for every tool is starting to become a huge problem. Thankfully, Folks from Anthropic saw this problem and proposed a protocol that allows us to write the integration layer with a high level of abstraction that makes this process completely streamlined. Also, once the MCP server code is written once, you can reuse it for other instances, which means popular apps like HubSpot or Google Drive. If someone wrote that MCP server code somewhere, you can actually reuse their implementation of it and not have to worry about implementing on your own.